Hey everybody, I am back with an unboxing of the Hermes Evelyn 16 or TPM bag. So let's get right to it. Okay, so nice dust bag, as you would expect. Let me just pull out the bag. Here it is. So the first thing that you'll notice is the color. So this is uh, obviously a green, and it's called a Vert Verone. It's uh, definitely a, like a brighter tur turquoise green. It's definitely a unique color and a really, really, really beautiful one at that. Definitely better than my like standard like black or, or brown in my, my opinion. Definitely something that stands out. Uh, this is also in the Torillion Clements leather. So if you look, it is kind of a green uh, bubble leather with a bit of texture to it. Nice feel on the hand. And uh, I believe this is actually the same leather that uh, Hermes makes their uh, luggage out of. So it's definitely a more durable, um, uh, harder uh, leather that's still nice and soft to the feel and still looks uh, really great with the grain and the bubbles. So the Evelyn bag is um, uniquely uh, uh, identified by the perforated H right here on the front. And this is actually the third generation uh, Everland. There were two previous generations uh, prior to this. And one of the things that's new in this generation is the adjustable strap. So we see the clips here. And we have a nice bag for the strap uh, right inside. Right, the strap is canvas and the color matches the back. Let's go ahead and put the strap on. So very easy. Uh, you just push it on the clasp like this and it opens right up. Hooks right in. Like so. And let's look inside the bag itself. So it's a single compartment. And in a moment, we'll go ahead and see what we can fit inside. But before we do, let's just do a quick look around the bag. Definitely has a nice feel to it. And this is really a practical bag um, as well, really easy access. You just uh, un undo the clasp and you're right inside. So it definitely is really easy to access um, anything that you're carrying around with you. So let's go ahead and see what fits inside the bag. So I have a selection of uh, some of Lucia's things here. So we'll go ahead and start off with the, the cell phone. So. This is Lucia's iPhone 10. I'm gonna go and place it inside. That fits inside um, on its side as well as um, up and down without any problem. So I'll put it in like so. We have a Louboutin uh, spiked wallet here. I believe it's the, the pan Panatone, if I recall correctly. So let's put that one in. Does not fit fully sanding up. And I think it's going to be a stretch to put it in like this. I don't think that's really going to work. So um, it does fit in sanding up, but then you obviously cannot clo close it. So this pin and tone wallet is probably, I would say, too big for the Evelyn. We have a little Louis Vuitton wallet as well. This one will fit no problem, either sanding up or if I do it horizontally. That slides in nicely as well.
and uh, let's see the Saint Laurent card case would obviously fit, no problem at all. So why don't we do this? Why don't we try to put a few different things in here? So I'll put in her card case, her phone, and then probably travel with sunglasses. So this is a Dulce and Gabbana uh, sun sunglasses in, in the bag, as well as the case. I think these would both fit. So if I put the case in like this, it'll just slide in. It's a little bit snug, but it slides in. Then her car keys kind of, kind of fit on top like that. And it is a bit of a stretch to close it, but I think if I do a little bit of rearrangement, I can get it to close. So let's take everything back out. Maybe put the sunglasses in first. Maybe do it like that. We'll stand up the phone and the card case. Put the keys in. And voila. There it is. It all fits. Now I don't think I could do it with the, uh, I don't know why I keep on trying to open it from that side. Sorry about that. I don't think I could do this with the Louis Vuitton uh, wallet as well. Uh, let me just take out the car case and see if, see how that works. So the Louis Vuitton wallet well, does fit with the sunglasses, but um, I think it might be able to fit the phone as well with that. Yes, it definitely is very tight. I could probably squeeze in um, the keys in there as well. It definitely is much tighter with, um, with all three in there, as you can see. So in terms of the physical size of the Evelyn 3 uh, 16 centimeter version, the Evelyn is 6.7 inches wide across the bottom, 7 inches tall, and 2 inches uh, deep. So definitely is a really, really small um, bag, um, everyday bag, but definitely uh, very practical with this easy snap closure. And Definitely one of Hermes' most popular bags as well. We actually had a lot of trouble um, trying to find one of any color, really. Uh, we've been to the Toronto store a number of times, and they have always uh, been out of stock. We were lucky enough to be traveling through uh, San Francisco, and uh, we stopped at the Hermes store in the airport, and... Uh, Lo and behold, they happened to have uh, this beautiful Evelyn bag, so we went ahead and got it. The other bonus of buying it uh, at the San Francisco airport is that it's duty-free. So we were able to buy it uh, without having to pay any uh, taxes or, or duties on it, which is uh, definitely a really nice thing. So the Evelyn 3 uh, Mini retails for $1,800 uh, US, and I believe that's about um, $2,200 approximately. Canadian, uh, we'll look that up and uh, put in the Canadian price. Uh, so this is the Evelyn Mini. Definitely uh, seems to be a very practical bag. Uh, definitely really happy about this awesome turquoise uh, Vert Verone color. And the uh, Clements leather definitely feels really sturdy, really, really dur durable, and is hopefully uh, uh, more forgiving than most of the other uh, leathers that uh, Hermes is known for. So that's it for the unboxing. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments below and I'll see you next time.